Hello, Capricorns. It is the Sun Sage. Thank you so much for tuning in to your February reading to see what is going on energetically for you guys. This is where I take a look at the general messages coming through for the Capricorn Collective, not the only energies, but the strongest. Okay. So if you need something that only taps into you, your energy, um, make sure you check out those details in the description box to see how you can get book a personal reading with me. But I do want to see what we get for Capricorn placements, sun, moon, Venus, rising, and any other planetary Capricorn energy you would like to apply this to, all right? So let's see what's going on for you guys in February. Some main themes for Capricorn, please. What does their February look like? What's going on energetically for Capricorns? All right, King of Pentacles. So typical <laughs> you guys are getting money okay the ten of pentacles is here at the bottom what else this is very you this is very on on brand for capricorn energies you show up as yourself basically you so that's how you are in february you're yourself okay you're doing what you love to do you're showing up how in your authentic self how you always show up with the best wanting the best for yourself um presenting the best you you can and so the best is a, a very strong message coming through um you guys have made a lot of money recently so february you may start like showing off a little bit the money that you made but let's see what else comes through the Six of Pentacles, all right? Ace of Pentacles. This is great. Empress, this is great. <laughs> this is abundance. This is all abundance. I actually feel like you guys loan money out in February. Um, <laughs> I kind of got a Capricorn energy going. No, I'm not, but it's here. Um, you give. You give money or symbolically, you give someone more of you. It feels very nice though. You feel nice. I think that's what's coming through. You feel very generous um, with your time, with your attention. Um, you have a lot to offer. You're the empress. You're the king of pentacles. You are literally doing like your, your, your best. And so I do feel as if some of you have someone special um, in your life in February that you are going to give more of your time and energy to. There are some of you that will be building and starting families. Okay. In the month of February, some of you are getting, uh, reconnecting with somebody you already have kids with. All right. So it looks good energetically. What's the King of Pentacles? The King of Pentacles is letting me know, um, money wise, there's been like good news on top of good news on top of good news. OK, so some of you have been able to move, get a new car, get a new house, get a new apartment. Some of you have been able to do some things with that money that you're making that feel, that make you feel better about your your purpose that are making you that's making you feel better about your life. What's the king of pentacles? All right. There's confidence in that king of pentacles too. temperance. Money makes you feel better. Money makes you feel good. And I do feel like it's kind of like almost cliche to keep bringing up money and Capricorn, but it's, you guys got all like money messages. And so it's very clear that that's an important, um, way to bring stability to your life. You guys figured that out, right? This is what I need to be happy, comfort, and yes, even luxury. And so that's the life that you are creating with the King of Pentacles and temperance. Some of you are in a job that has healed your financial issues. So instead of being paid less than your worth, you get paid, you know, what you're worth now, or you make your own money. And so you could do what you want with that. You don't have to wait for a paycheck that may not even have the funds that you need to do something that you need to do to feel like you're in your right mind or feel like you're you're going to be okay some of you are not worried about money at all right now and it looks like february that continues temperance is saying that you have found a way to sort of balance or in february you're finding a way to balance your work life with your love life 
the six of wands, okay? And you're going to have a little bit of fun, which is something we don't get a lot from Capricorns in the readings, but it's coming through. You have the money to not only spend on yourself, but spend again on someone special. So it looks like some of you are feeling very generous. You're buying a partner or someone you're romantically attra uh, attached to, something nice, something they want. You're showing that you have money by giving, okay? You are comfortable with your financial security right now. Feeling very good, very confident, very sure of yourself. So in February, you guys get recognition. Maybe you're the MVP in your office. Maybe you get a promotion. But financially, I just can't stress it enough. You're doing quite well. And you're being recognized for how well you're doing. Um, someone gets a new coat. All right, you get a new coat. Let's see. The two of wands. It's like you don't even know what to do with all this success. King of pentacles here. Some of you are dealing with somebody who's just as successful as you are. So that could be why there's so much comfort to and so much peace in your energy. You're dealing with somebody who feels like they themselves are very abundant. Okay. You could have someone who has a child. All right. Um, but I do feel like the six of wands and the two of wands, that's like the eight of wands energy is letting you know your life is moving in the right direction. So this could be confirmation for a lot of you that your life is moving in the right direction. The two of wands is that you're more comfortable financially. So you're able to plan ahead, you know, when, when you're not, when money's kind of tight, can't really think about savings. You can't really think about the future the way you want to. You're not in that position. You're very <laughs> able to think about whatever you want to think about and put your money into. Some of you are thinking about investing. Okay. Some of you are thinking about investing into a social media company, the star. You are following and living your purpose. You chose happiness. You chose yourself. And now, as a result, you're able to bring someone into the fold. You're able to include a lover in your life. Some of you, that was, that's what was keeping you from being in a relationship or investing in somebody. You really felt the desire and the need to focus on yourself first. And it does feel like it's paid off. It does feel like you found healing, you've gotten some answers, you've gotten some confirmation, and now you feel like it's a good time to open up your heart to someone. Queen of Cups is very clear here for you guys. You're manifesting love. A lot of you are manifesting new love. And so what you will experience in February is a very strong attraction to somebody who is your equal. You won't have to wish they were more this or a little more that or a little less this. They're going to be perfect for you. You automatically soften up and become receptive with whoever this person is. All right. You have water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with also Aquarius. You have Leo here. Um, Six of Pentacles. Some of you are loaning money to friends. Okay. That is how you, you know, help. You give back. Okay. You're giving back. What's the Six of Pentacles here? This can even be, you know, you go out for a movie or something with friends or family and you pay for everybody, right? I strongly feel that. Look, more pentacles, ace of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, the princess of pentacles at the bottom. You are the king of pentacles in February. And I feel like you're not just bragging about it or boasting. You're actually giving back. You're investing, as I, I, I told you, I feel like you're investing in a social net, uh, the social media platform or something maybe involving engineer or tech, but you're giving back, right? You got, you've gotten on your feet. That's what this feels like. And so now I want to give back six of uh, pentacles with the ace of pentacles and the eight of, um, the ace of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. Uh, let's see what else we got. Some of you are getting another job. Five of swords. Let me see why the Five of Swords is here before I get into it. It feels like you're, okay, um, the Empress. Okay, yeah. There's someone here that the cards are interpreting as an Empress for you, someone who has it all. 
but you haven't been able, right, to give energy and time to this relationship, I do feel like um, there's a realization in February, you take accountability maybe and go, I, you know, I was sabotaging this. Some of you will feel like someone sabotaged a, a relationship with you to, to make money that there, someone's rectifying that, right? Somebody's going, that wasn't right. I'm going to make this right by my empress, or I'm going to do right by my counterpart. Divine energies here with the empress, the moon. Okay. You have to find this person or call them a few times. They've gotten used to not hearing from you, Capricorn. <laughs> okay. The moon, um, they don't know if you want them. And so some of you have to send the, the signal, the, the communication. You do want them. You do care for them. Uh, six of swords. Yes. You're making peace with a lover. I think some of you have family or friends or there's someone you're dealing with who has family or friends who was like, you know, you're wrong for how you're treating Capricorn or Capricorn, you know, you're wrong for how you're treating your person. Somebody got a good little talking to from the family and friends. And so this puts you on a mission to seek out your person and to make peace with them. And so that's what is happening in February. Nine of Cups. Some of you will have a beautiful Valentine's Day with someone who's going to treat you and someone you're going to treat. Like exchanging. That's what I get. Exchanging of gifts. You and someone special exchange gifts. This is what makes the peace. <laughs> this is, is why you guys are able to like, you know, um, it's not just also, it's not just, um, material things that are being exchanged. It's love, words of love, feelings. This is mutual. So this isn't just about making peace and, and getting back on track with one another. This is about you're who I wanted always. And I'm going to start showing you. Nine of Cups. Yeah, you guys are in love with someone. Ace of Pentacles. So a new relationship is is blooming. What is that Ace of Pentacles? The Magician. Yep. Unfolding right before your eyes. A love match. A relationship where there's intense passion, where there's mutual love, where you now feel comfortable that they're not going to take from you or mistreat you so you can give more of yourself and more of your resources. What's the magician? Also, this you manifested this person, Four of Swords, okay? Um, this feels like you're sleeping with someone in February, but it's a it's in a, it's like a very innocent sleeping with them. You guys are in each other's dreams. You're manifesting one another. You spend quality time together in your day, wake, uh, you know, um, up and about. And also you rest together. This is somebody you trust to have in your space. So there's a lot of peace and quiet in this connection. Okay. What's the four of swords? There's no fighting in relationships. King of Pentacles, you're too mature for that. You're dealing with somebody who's equally mature. I got this Knight of Swords here. I the reason I love your energy, Capricorn. The reason why I don't like this Knight of Swords is because this feels like somebody like kind of mad that you're living like a peaceful, happy, loving existence and kind of watching you, waiting for their moments to start some trouble. So just be mindful, I guess, um, um, of this Knight of Swords energy, but King of Pentacles, very accomplished, very successful in February. What's the King? You got a counterpart. True pair. You were meant to be with this person. Both of you were meant to be together. You, you're mature. You love each other. You want each other more than you wanted anybody else. Nine of cups. You wish for each other. You waited for each other. You were patient. You manifested this love. What else do you want? This is perfection. This is a real soulmate that you will be connecting to or somebody you're already connecting to. It gets very lovey dovey, very emotional in February for you and this person. This feels like a lot of kisses, a lot of tenderness. Tenderness, a lot of I love yous, a lot of I can't live without you. I need you in my life. I'm so sorry it took so long, but we're here now type energy. So I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to grab one more for you guys. 
um, abundance in your work life with your finances, with your progression in your career, and also abundance and um, yes, also abundance in your love life with the person you are connecting to. There's already something established between you and someone. The snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. So that Knight of Swords energy that I didn't like, it wasn't even... Like, I don't comment on everything that was at the bottom of the deck all the time. That one stood out. And so I did feel this. One or both of you, probably one of you, has somebody who's still not over you or the other per or your person. That person, you guys take a picture, you post it, you're out somewhere, they see you. They may try to start up something. They look at you as competition, but you're not. You're, you're above them. You're over, like, it's, it's not competition. You win, <laughs> you know, um, or your person wins, but someone here is very childish and malicious and look over your shoulders, just saying what I was kind of picking up in that night of swords, kind of standing back, waiting for their moment. They want you to pop out with somebody. They want somebody to pop out with you so that they can go, Oh, well, we were just texting each other last year, right? Something like that. Somebody messy, but I don't think it's anything to worry about. I'm, you know, there's marriage energy here. So some of you are going to marry this person. Some of you are going to have talks about marriage. And, and I don't think that that person is going to make a dent in what you have with them. Just know that there's a possibility they may try to stir up something as a last ditch effort to get, you know, your attention. Okay. So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, because this may have been too general, make sure you check out the details in the description box to see how you can book.